Millsap holds against Zaza. Baseline, Korver, same spot. He's hit two there. How about three shots? Oh, yeah. Kyle Korver is back. Kyle, welcome back to the Jazz. Thank you. Now, when you found out, what was your initial reaction when you learned that you're coming back to Utah? Yeah, I was, um, I was excited. I really was. I think I, I knew, um, we, we knew that something was probably going to happen at some point this year. And we didn't know when and we didn't know where. But uh, I think, you know, my wife, my family, we were hoping to go somewhere where we knew people. It's hard to start all over, you know, all the way over. And so, uh, you know, there's a few cities that we were kind of hoping for. And, and uh, you know, I woke up from a nap and I had a bunch of missed phone calls and uh, called the GM of Cleveland back. And he's like, yeah, we're going to, you know, Utah would like to bring you back. I said, huh, okay, that'd be great. That'd be great. So we're excited. Did you ever imagine at this point that you'd be coming back to Utah at this point in your career? I, I, no, no. I thought I would come back, but not to play basketball again. Yeah. You know, come back to see friends and see people, um, you know, but to come back to play against the Jazz. It, I hadn't really thought about that, but I'm glad that's happening. Well, many memories in Utah. Let's talk a little bit about that comfort and the connection that you have with the city itself, Salt Lake City, and the Miller family. Yeah, man, just a lot of really great people. I was in a much different phase of life back then, you know, coming in as a, as a young single guy and, and uh, just found a great group of people to hang out with. Um, it was a fun team, a uh, fun team to play on. Uh, Coach Sloan was great. Um, you know, the, the city really took me in and had a you know, two and a half really, really fun years. And so it's, it's fun to think about going back and seeing a lot of those people again. You know, I've gotten a ton of texts and a ton of phone calls. And it's exciting. You mentioned how things were so different then to now. How have you changed personally from then to now? Well, um, you know, I don't know, but how long has it been? Like eight or nine years, ten years? Um, Almost ten. It's been a bit. You know, I've, uh, I got a family now. Got a wonderful wife and three kids. I got some gray hairs. I got a, a bunch more experiences in life. Um, but I'm in a really good spot, and, and um, you know, hopefully, hopefully that'll show. Well, Coach Quinn Snyder, you and him go back to the Atlanta days. What is that connection and chemistry like? Uh, it's it's good. Um, that was one of the, when I found out about coming back to Utah. Uh, you know, Coach Coach Quinn was right up at the top of the list. I, I just I have a ton of respect for him. Uh, I only played for him one year in Atlanta, but he was the first coach um, that just he brought a whole new set of ideas to basketball for me. You know, I feel like I've kind of been in this really good path of kind of trying to perfect certain things on the court. And he just had all these new thoughts and ideas. And he kind of, I was like, whoa, like, I like this guy. And he'd come in and he'd been drinking all his coffee. And he's like, I, I, think, I think I have an idea. What if we did this? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I love it. Let's do it, you know? And I, he really helped me as, as, as a player that year. And, and so to come here and, and, and to play for him again, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting.